All right, what I got here is the Ozark Trail <clears throat> wagon. And this is a sign of stupid. So, uh, I mean, if you look all over the Walmart site, these are 40. But if you go in the store, well, I don't know what the difference between the 40 and the 60. If you go in the store, they, they, they first of all, if you search for Ozark Trail wagon, you're going to find about six red wagons. And, um, well, I can go get the UPC of what this is. This, if you search on Brick Seek, you're going to see like six of them. They're all say 39. They all say $40. Well, th this is not the $40 one. This is the $58 one. Um, actually, let me go get that UPC. One minute in and I'm going to show you UPCs. Not that it matters. Because you can find these for $20 anyway on clearance. If the problem is, is there's six different ones plus another. Um, if you want a wagon, of course. But hold on. All right, so there's the UPC of this. Multi-purpose cart with tailgate. All right, so... If you look up that UPC, you should see that this is $58. And in fact, I probably should do that, shouldn't I? And we'll see if I'm a moron or not. But whatever, 20 bucks for this is a pretty good deal. Alright. So, there's the UPC of this. It took the thing sitting in front of your face. And here how much it is in the stores. 58, you see? 58, 58, 58. So this is not 19 off. This is 29 off. Um, employees are just lazy. But then again, like I'm just having to show you, this is hard to determine what this actually is. And to tell you the truth... You can go search the 40s and Brick Seek. I bet you won't find one in a store at all. It's all going to be all these. So anyway, here's this puppy. Now, if you get one of these and want to use one of these, you probably should take a picture of it before you open it. Take a picture of it. Note your zipper is on this side. The zipper is on the side where it folds together. This is where the zipper is. Note that that zipper is here. It's in the, it's actually in the middle. And the reason why that's important is if you turn this, you start interfering with this. This is the length of this side. You stick it on this side and you suddenly start making this shorter. And if you make that shorter, when you go to try to put this down in, it just won't. Oh. You make the length of this thing shorter because of this. And when you try to put this handle down, it doesn't fit all that good. So anyway, you want to make sure you know what this looks like before you open it up. Because you're not going to be able to get it back closed. Also note, before you open it, this is attached to this. So when you close this, this is going to be way up there. I mean, it's going to be okay if you, if you close it with it this high. It's okay, because if you if you don't pull this up out of there, this thing is going to be up high like that, and I guess that that's that's going to be okay. But make note of what it looks like, so when you go to fold it back up, you will know what's going on. So anyway, we'll unzip it. And here is. The only thing to note, the strap that holds this together. If you didn't, if someone opened this for you, you would never know that's what this strap does. Is hold all this together. You would never know that. So, that's the purpose of that strap. So you want to undo this strap. 
Yeah, it's just like taking the bra off. Maybe. Yeah. It's like old school, right? So we want to... We gotta take this off properly, okay? This is this is how you're supposed to take this off. You turn it around, and then you reach behind it like this. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you. Oh, oh. What was what happened? Your boobs just fell down. I uh, you had a a wardrobe malfunction. You know. Sorry, baby. Let me fix that. All right, so then you're not holding it tight anymore. All right. So now we can open up and say wagon. Watch your fingers. You don't want to get your little stinking digits in there now, do you? And you see, this puppy's got some sideways movement. Huh? Huh? All right. So you just want to open it. Uh, open it. I don't think it clicks in the position. That's open. That's open. Are we open all the way, buddy? Are we open all the way? And then this is going to be your side thing. You take this and you zip this. So you get your side. Remember, when you go to fold this... When you go to fold this back up, you must unzip those, or it's not gonna fold. Cause you're gonna be trying to fold this in here. And always remember to put this back in here. Don't leave it in there. This is your platform. Now, before we even get that far, let's go over here. This is your back thing. This is your tailgate, or you wanna load up some lumber or something. You know? Why isn't this, this isn't locked. Is it locked? in the position. Uh, I guess I haven't locked it. That's your tailgate. These these straps hold that. All right, let's get this thing lined up. Oh, that's why I don't have it all the way. There we go. That's all the way out. And then this is your flooring. Remember, when you fold this up, take the flooring out. Gives you a, a solid floor. Honey, he's too close to the video. I can't see what's going on. So this holds it how far you can open this tailgate. Load it up with some lumber, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, so you get that in there. Let's put the tailgate back up just so if you don't want this tailgate sitting because see you got this this loose if you want to tighten it up you obviously just go in here and tighten it up like that huh 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 There you go, bro. There you is. All right, here you got your side thing. These don't zip anywhere. That's this is the zipper is for when you're closing it up. You get your overhang, and then I don't know what to do with this. This is there you go. Look at this. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. I suppose there's something to do because this this is what's holding the whole thing together. Uh, uh, leave it. It's like a, it's a fucking tail. Leave it alone. Just, just leave it. It's a tail. It's, it's two tails. Okay, just leave it. Just leave it. It's, it's just leave it. Don't be anal retentive about that. All right. Now the other tricky thing right here is this handle. <clears throat> now this handle has these two stoppers there. Now, see, it's stuck. It won't go down, so you gotta pinch here. You gotta pinch these things for that to go down again. That's what she said. There you go, pinch them pretty good. All right, and then this locks it because the telescope's even up higher. It 
telescopes up a little higher like that. And then you lock it back into place. And then it also has a lock there when you're straight up and down. Like that lock. And you get this puppy like this. And you're like, yeah, buddy. Woo. And then you're like, shit, this thing needs shocks. It needs shocks, right? This fucker needs shocks. Of course, you'd probably break everything if you step on this. This is probably the the breaking point of it. When you're dumbass. Because this is just going to snap if you force that down. That's just going to... It's just going to snap those two right there. Are those metal or plastic? It's metal into plastic. You're probably just going to break the hinge. You're probably going to... Alright, so this is a plastic hinge. You're going to break that. I wonder if you can find, buy this extra... Because it's just all screws. It's just all screws. You're going to have to take this out, though. How are you going to get this out? Oh, it's this. We take off this screw. And then this will come off. And then you can take off screw, screw. Those. Bolt it into the thing. There's no nuts on those. Anyhow, if you get a dumbass user, those are going to press down on this real hard. And you're going to snap these plastics. So you probably... I want to research and buy new ones of those. What are we freaking 10 minutes in? Wow. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah. Look, I ran it from my phone and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, you, you know, you put your drinky poo here, drinky poo here. You put your uh, your dildo in here. Unless you're advanced, then your dildo would go in here. You a little bigger. You got a bigger room over there, you know, or your double dildo. And, you know, this could be your tickler or whatever. All right, so then when you put it back together, you have to take this out and counterfold it. Counterfold it like this. Don't fold it back onto each other. You're going to screw it all up. These feels like plastic inside, which is good instead of cardboard. And you must put it back. Hey, is that the UPC, bro? And you must put it back in here. Because if you do not, it's not going to fold correctly. Uh, let's close up the handle. So you want to get this all the way down. Lock it in. Squeeze your little nipples. All the way down. It'd be nice if it locked down there, but it doesn't. And you want to unzip these. Yeah, baby. And you probably want to grab this and lift it out a little. Initially. And then to get it fold, I think you want to pick it up. Oh, is that what that did already? All right. And it already doesn't want to fold all the way together. So you have to make sure uh, when you go to fold it, it's not crushing all this stuff. Where's our tire? This is our tire. So we want to put the tire side onto the ground. This asshole's talking like he knows how to do this shit. You know what I'm saying. And oh, the, when you're when you're pressing them together, you want to make sure your wheels don't touch each other because that's another blockage. So you want the wheels into each other. Because see, they they close into each other. That's it. You should have looked at that before you opened it. See, I told you to damn do that. Listen next time, you son of a bitch. Now you come over here. And lock this up. Yeah, buddy. Wow. That strap lets you really tighten that shit up. And then you come over here. Now we are going. Well, that's the right way. Go around. And we want to zip this from the bottom. Oh. 
Nice and easy. Look at that, bro. And this is in. And because I pulled this up before, I pulled this up out of the carriage before I closed it, and this all hangs down in the middle here. I mean, don't, you don't have to do that because the, it'll end up where this thing is all the way to the top when you're wrapping around the handle. But that's the way it was from the factory. So, uh, there you go, boy. Boy. There it is. <sighs> what? Are you supposed to drive him? Come on, man. You're going to drive him? I got to press him. Push the buttons. Uh, he's not a baby. He's a skating dog. I'm going to make him escape from you. Hey, get him back on his skate. <laughs> he tried to get away, huh? <laughs>